And uh, the Hollywood movie is called Bottle Shock. And um, probably one of the best films about wine ever. And at the same time, too, really changed California wines. What I love about the film is that it, it captures the growers and the farmers and the winemakers and the artistry of the wine so well. And it really depicts them in this beautiful light of artists and, and creation of something that really is, and when you watch the film, you'll get what I'm saying if you haven't already seen it, it's like liquid sunshine. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what they have that term where they actually talk about it in the film. And I just think that is so true, especially of a Chardonnay like this. And if you haven't seen the film, we won't ruin it for you. Go see it. But yeah, just go see it. So spoiler alert, don't watch the next uh, like 30 seconds. But obviously in the film, it's about the, the judgment of Paris where the California wines go up against the French wines. But it really changed the region. I mean, it really changed, it put California wines on the map because they were going Absolutely. up against all of the Chardonnays and the white burgundies there and they won. And everybody was kind of like, huh? And shock. Every Hence single the name bottle shock. Right. And every single judge voted for them. Blind, a blind vote, blind tasting, voted for the California wine. This Chardonnay, not this one, because it's a different year, but the Ooh. Chateau Montalena Chardonnay. <laughs> you know, and 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 it shows you the trials and tribulations that they went through just to get there. And they were now, uh, if if you know wine, you know Chateau Montalena. It's a very expensive wine. I mean, well, I wouldn't say very expensive. It's a medium priced wine, but medium it's probably out of a lot of people's budgets. But if you want to splurge, it, you've got to taste it just once because it really is, it's something special and it's different. And we love oaky buttery and I would not call this oaky buttery. No, and I agree with you. It, this, uh, I can understand, and again, this is not the same wine that was judged 30, 40 years ago, but obviously from the same grapes. Um, I, can, I can understand why the French judges would like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's not over the top oaky buttery. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But what it is is very well balanced with like citrus and cream. And I think that's where it, like the finish of it, we were describing it as a really beautiful French champagne. The way that finishes with that just creamy finish, yeah. it's very much like that but without the, a lot of oak. It's, it's got a lot of citrus. I think it, in the tasting lemon. notes, they talk, talk about lemon meringue, yeah. creme brulee. All of that is very true. Um, it it's, is a beautiful wine. You, this is something that you can have, for instance, we, we, we tried it with goat cheese, fabulous with goat cheese. I can see you having this with, with fruit, just uh, having something in, in the afternoon. Um, at the same time too, I could see having this with a chicken dinner. A oh, absolutely. really yeah. well done, nicely prepared chicken dinner. This mm -hmm. would go perfect with it. Um, I, I'm almost thinking the steak is going to be. I don't, yeah, well, I'd like to try it. I, you know, I probably I think it would go, go great for it. with duck. I think yeah. it would be really good with duck. Absolutely. Pork, mm -hmm. obviously, that's kind of a no-brainer. Oh, salmon, hands down for yeah. sure. I mean, even if you did like a smoked salmon caviar kind of like opening with this. Yep be beautiful shrimp any kind of seafood be fabulous yeah. but it just reminds me like if you picture a really beautiful French champagne without the bubbles that's the flavor that it reminds me of I mean it really is it it's it's hands down like one of the most diverse Chardonnays I think flavor wise it's got so many layers and depending on what you eat it with like you said, we had it with goat cheese. I'm dying to try it with this truffle cheese. It, it really changes its flavor profile. It's so unique and it's really just a beautiful wine. And the longer you have it open and the warmer it gets, it changes. Like even as we're sitting mm -hmm. here, from when we first tasted it with the goat cheese, which was before we started rolling the cameras, it's, it's changed already. And it's just, it's so beautiful. It's just a beautiful, delightful glass of wine that you can drink with a lot of things, or, or on its own for that matter. Yeah, so treat yourself and a little history, and uh, we're gonna enjoy this, and then um, we're gonna probably go for another wine that she'll cry over as well. Indulge in some liquid sunshine.